The Motor Spirit is here in Indianapolis to visit the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum and attend the Performance Racing Industry Trade Show. The 24 Hours of Le Mans. The Monaco Grand Prix and the Indianapolis 500 are the world's most famous motor races. The Indy 500 is the oldest first run in 1911 and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum has many famous cars driven by many famous drivers. On this visit, two are interesting. In 1921, Californian Jimmy Murphy drove this Duesenberg to win the French Grand Prix at Le Mans. The first 24-hour race would be two years later. He was an American driver in an American car. A year later, Murphy and the same car, now with a Miller engine, won the 1922 Indy 500. He was the first driver to win the race from the pole. In 1961, Texan A.J. Foyt won his first of four Indy 500s in this car, powered by a descendant of the Miller engine now called Offenhauser, which would dominate IndyCar racing from 1934 to the 1970s. Your engines. His second win came in this car in 1964. In 1967, he won a third time and weeks later he would win the 24 Hours of Le Mans, co-driving with Dan Gurney in this car. And within weeks of that victory, Gurney would win the Belgian Grand Prix in his own All-American Eagle. Both American drivers winning in American cars. And welcome to the world's greatest race course, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. For over a century, the 500 has inspired Midwestern farm boys, wealthy businessmen, and drivers thrilled with its challenge to be the fastest, to be the best. The same inspiration to meet the challenge of racing runs through the Performance Racing Industry Annual Trade Show. First in Los Angeles, it moved to Orlando and has settled in the heartland of American racing, Indianapolis which is within a day's drive of the county and state fair dirt tracks in Minnesota and Wisconsin, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois to Kentucky, and home to many IndyCar race shops. The SEMA show in Las Vegas is a lot of show. Here in Indianapolis at PRI, it is all go. The show attracts thousands and everyone here loves racing. There are many familiar name brands and small businesses looking to become bigger. So Tom Burden here, the inventor of the grip mat. It's a flexible non-slip tool tray. It gives you a safe place to set your tools. It won't scratch your beautiful paint job and it won't slide off deep into the engine. So yeah, come to our booth at PRI and check us out. We got a special discount just for you. If you're not in Indy, you can find us on Amazon on our website. You can find us on any tool truck, Snap-on, Mac, Macco, and Cornwell. You could build a race car with parts from the hundreds of exhibitors. You could get yourself a chassis, a body, and a cornucopia of engine choices. full of the intrigue of the arcane, their mesmerizing nature, and visualizing their promised performance. With superchargers in the reminiscent shape of a Nautilus shell. And you can find bits and pieces to make your race car go. 
be competitive and hopefully win. And don't forget, you'll need wheels and tires. A helmet and driving suit. And you'll need a hauler to cart everything around in. The business of racing is amazing, especially when you consider it worldwide. There are numerous racing series around the world, countless classes, historic racing to contemporary professional racing. But the future may be just here. <laughs>